Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction horror film. Nope. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins on a live television set where a sickum scene is playing out. The family on stage goes through their lines and the audience laughs at their jokes. While most of the cast is human, there is a chimpanzee actor in there as well. Suddenly, there is a loud popping sound of a balloon and several muffled thumps. The set is now completely silent and there is blood everywhere. The camera reveals some dead bodies lying on the floor of the set and a chimp dressed in human clothes with blood on its fist and mouth. The child actor is hiding underneath a table. The chimpanzee extends its fist to the child before being shot down by authorities. In the present day, a ranch owner and his son, OJ, are working on their land. They raise and train horses for use in movie and TV sets, and their ranch is located in the middle of the desert. That afternoon, the machines in their ranch suddenly fall silent. OJ is several meters away from his father when he hears strange whirring sounds. Suddenly, dozens of small metal objects fall down from the sky at the speed of a bullet, and they clang as they hit the ground. Unfortunately, one of them hits the ranch owner right in the eye. Oju tries to bring the ranch owner to the hospital, but it is too late and the father dies in the car. OJ and his sister, M, inherit the ranch. It is left to OJ to take over their father's work in movies. One day, he takes one of their horses to a film set. He and M are supposed to lead a safety meeting with the people on set so they can inform them how to interact with the horses. Since M is late, OJ reluctantly starts the orientation. However, OJ is timid and he can barely speak loud enough for the crew to hear him. Finally, M arrives and takes over for him. Unlike her reserved brother, M is boisterous and confident. While OJ's expertise is the actual animal wrangling, M is a true blue salesperson. She gives a very enthusiastic orientation that begins by explaining that their ancestor was the first man captured on film. She then tells the crew that they should be careful with loud noises near the animals, since that can spook them. She also adds that she is an aspiring actress, singer, producer, and director. Afterward, they start the shoot. However, the horse gets spooked, and it kicks up its legs, startling the crew. This leads to both OG and M being fired from the set. At this point, they are already struggling to keep the ranch afloat, and they need the money. Because they were fired, OG has no choice but to sell more of their horses to Jupe, who owns a nearby Wild West-themed carnival. Jupe had previously offered their father a proposal to buy their ranch, but he refused. Because they are in dire straits, OG has begun selling some of their horses for income. It wouldn't be long now until all of their horses are with Jupe, but OG still intends to one day buy back all their horses. He goes up to Jupe's office to negotiate, but M insists that she tag along with them. While inside the office, M notices a lot of memorabilia about an 80s sitcom called Gordy's Home. She realizes that the child actor in the sitcom was actually Jupe when he was younger. Gordy's Home was the ill-fated sitcom featured at the beginning of the film. OJ signals to M to stop badgering Jupe about his TV star past, but she just keeps asking him questions out of curiosity. Jupe takes all this in stride and even proudly shows them his secret room, filled with more valuable Gordy's home memorabilia. M asks him about the infamous incident involving the chimpanzee actor, but Jupe dodges the question and doesn't really go into detail. The siblings go home to their ranch. They get some drinks, and they bond over how hard-headed their father was. M looks out the window and sees that something is spooking their horse. OG ventures outside to check on their horse, and he notices that it's behaving strangely. He also catches a glimpse of a big creature that suddenly disappears. Afterward, the horse disappears too. He goes back to the house, and he and his sister check the CCTV footage. But the security camera malfunctioned at that exact moment, and they do not know where their horse went. M gets the idea that what OG saw was a UFO. She wants to get footage of it so they can sell it on the internet and become rich and famous. The two of them go to a store and buy the latest CCTV cameras. These cameras have their own backup battery power, so even if there are blackouts, they can still capture whatever is out there. They meet a young male cashier who offers to help them with the installation of the cameras. The three of them drive back to their ranch. The cashier jokes that maybe they want to catch some UFOs. He even talks to OG about how he believes that the government is covering up the existence of the UFOs. That night, another power outage occurs. OG goes outside again to check on the horses since he heard some noises. Meanwhile, M looks at the security camera and sees that a bug is covering one of the cameras. The cashier calls her and tells her that the second camera is down. OG retrieves a runaway horse out in the field. 
M also goes outside, and the cashier helped her realize that whatever huge creature is stalking them is hiding in a stationary cloud in the sky. She shouts at OG to run, and he hides inside their barn. The creature emits shrieks until the sounds fade away. M is deeply terrified of the creature, and she tries to convince OG to leave the ranch with her. But OG is now obsessed with capturing footage of the UFO. Unfortunately, none of the camera footage from that night is good because of the outage and the bug covering up the camera. He's resolved to capture it and earn some money. The next morning, M calls the cinematographer who fired them from the set the other day. She offers him the opportunity to shoot the impossible shot of the UFO, but he refuses. Later on, the cashier visits them at the ranch. He's now invested in their experience, and he has been reviewing the footage caught by the security cameras. The cashier shows the siblings that the same cloud has been perched over the nearby mountain for days now. All the other clouds are moving except it. Oj realizes that for the past six months, that same cloud has been there. It is now clear that the UFO is hiding behind the cloud. A flashback to 1998 reveals more details about what happened on the set of Gordy's home. Apparently, one of the characters was supposed to give Gordy a huge box during a scene. When the box was opened, it released a few balloons. One of the balloons popped, and the sound triggered the chimpanzee actor. It started attacking the actors and beating them to death with its fists. Back in the present, Jube is unveiling a new show in his carnival. He has also noticed the UFO in his vicinity for the past months. He then hatches a plan so he can make money off of the UFO. He has been using the horses that OG sold him to feed the UFO. This is the first time he will reveal the UFO to an audience. However, the UFO devours all the people in the carnival, including Jupe. It enveloped them and started digesting them. People scream, but they are helpless against the UFO. The next morning, OG arrives at Jupe's carnival and sees that it's totally wrecked. Only the horse he recently sold to Jupe was still there. He starts calling a horse to come to him, but the UFO reveals itself from behind the cloud. As it descends over the remains of the carnival, OJ can hear the screams of all the people that were devoured by it. OG hides from the UFO and watches as it consumes the horse. He then realizes that the UFO is not a spaceship at all, but a territorial creature that feeds on organisms. It was the reason behind the disappearance of their horses and the death of their father. It also has an electromagnetic field that's been causing power outages and camera malfunction. He calls Am and tells her about his discovery. He then rushes back home to the ranch, where the creature is now hovering over their house. It devours several flags and a large wooden horse that OG was using in his training. The wooden horse gets stuck in its throat, and the creature sprays all the blood and undigested meat of the people they ate all over the ranch. OG waits by his car, as M and the cashier rush from the house. The creature passes over the car, and OG gets the idea to duck his head and avoid looking at the creature. It passes over him without incident. OG thought of not making eye contact because he remembered from his animal wrangling tactics that looking at an animal in the eye can spook it and make it behave negatively. The cinematographer sees what happened to Jute's carnival in the news. He connects this with M's proposal of the impossible shot and gets intrigued. The next morning, he heads to the ranch. He shows the group his self-made handheld IMAX camera, which should be able to capture footage of the creature. They come up with a plan to lure the creature to a certain spot and get it to reveal itself. They steal some inflatable air rangers from a car shop, as well as car batteries. OG tells them not to look at the creature if they ever encounter it, so they would be safe from being eaten by it. Finally, they commence their operation. They scatter the air rangers all over the field, and M plays some songs to lure the creature to the field. They aim to make it think that the air rangers are people. Out on top of a hill overlooking the field, the cinematographer is waiting with his handheld camera. In another spot, the cashier is also waiting with several digital cameras. All the creature needs to do is take the bait. However, a man on a motorcycle comes rolling to the ranch. He is a journalist who wants to capture footage of the UFO as well. M comes out and tries to persuade him to get out of the property because it's not safe. But he is determined to discover the truth. He revs his motorcycle and heads straight for the cloud. When he reaches the creature's electromagnetic field, the Paparazzo's electric motorcycle dies and he is thrown to the road. OJ attempts to rescue him on horseback. The creature is floating directly above them, and OJ tries to tell the paparazzo not to look at the creature. Meanwhile, the paparazzo is begging OJ to get it on camera. The creature descends quickly, and OJ has no choice but to leave the paparazzo behind. The creature sucks him inside, and his screams echo through the air. The creature then chases OJ, but he keeps his head down and averts his eyes, so the creature doesn't harm him. Meanwhile, the cinematographer is capturing this in his film. OJ then continues the rest of their plan. 
He lures the creature down the road, so it can be in full view of the camera while he averts his eyes. The plan is successful, and the group rejoices. However, the cinematographer is not satisfied. He realizes that the sunlight is about to reach its peak, and he can still get a better shot of the creature. So he takes his handheld camera and positions himself directly under the creature. He starts filming as he gets sucked up into the creature's opening, sacrificing himself for his art. However, his camera and footage were sucked up too. After, the creature moves on to the cashier's spot. He tries to run away, but the creature topples the tent he was under and destroys all their camera equipment. As a last-ditch attempt, he covers himself in barbed wire before the creature sucks him in. The creature is hurt by the barbed wire, and it spits the cashier out. The creature is now unfurling itself, revealing its true jellyfish-like form. OJ comes face to face with the creature. To save her brother, M gets on a motorcycle and attempts to lure the creature away from him. She rides to the carnival, and it follows after her. She goes to the carnival's enormous helium balloon, depicting Jupe, and releases it into the air. M remembers that when she first visited the carnival, there was a fake well that had a camera at the bottom to take pictures of the visitors whenever a crank was pulled. The balloon is floating several hundred feet up in the air directly over the well, and the creature is about to eat that balloon. Just as the creature snaps the balloon up, M pulls the crank and takes the impossible shot they've been trying to get. Because the camera she used was so old-fashioned, the creature's electromagnetic field didn't have any effect on it. Just like the wooden horse it ate the previous night, the helium balloon caused destruction to the creature's insides. But this time, the creature exploded into white dust in the sky because of the helium balloon. M discovers that her shots were all successful. In one fell swoop, she had vanquished the creature and secured the pictures that will give their family fame and fortune. The movie ends with OJ appearing on Ferrari horseback like a cowboy from an old western movie. The two siblings look at each other and smile. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.